and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Jackowitz. This is The Cage Review, and this is going to be my spoiler review for Marriage Story. I uh, just watched it, uh, I think it's two days ago now. I already did my non-spoiler review, but I wanted to come back and knock this out of the park so I could get into some rock and metal reviews that I'm going to be doing here very soon. But this movie, man, really grabbed me. Uh, I said how it was very simplistic in its approach. You know, it's just a story of two people. They're at the end of their marriage. Uh, they're trying to keep things peaceable. They're trying not to get their child involved in this. They have a son together. And then somebody convinces the wife to get a lawyer, and the lawyers get involved. And that is when things kind of get nasty, and you really start to um, see the, the dirty side of divorce, and, you know, uh, the lawyer is feeling like, you know, just because this is happening, people have to go for the low blow, and they have to take pot shots at the other person. And they want to make the strongest case possible to make sure that their client gets everything that they want out of it. And it just gets ugly at points. Um, and there's actually an amazing scene between Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver where they're having this big argument. And um, it was really one major argument in the movie. And it was kind of extended. And at the end of it, Adam Driver just says, you know, pretty horrendous shit. And immediately breaks down crying he says i'm sorry and you know they, they they see where this is going and they put the brakes on it before it goes any further and i really like that about this because you know even the nicest people with the best of intentions in a a tough situation can find their breaking point and you know say shit like that so it was very good it was very true to life um the majority of the story is Adam Driver's character, Charlie. He is a theater director, and he's very motivated, but he's also very into his work. He's kind of distant. He doesn't give uh, Nicole, Scarlett Johansson's character, a chance to be who she wants to be and live how she wants to live. And eventually, she has enough of it. They got married young, and she decides, I need my own life. And so they still... Can love each other and they can still respect each other but they understand that the relationship part of it is just not there and and that's why they're trying to do this peaceably and they're trying to um, you know not involve the child and make everybody kind of move on as, as amicably as possible and you know like I said in my non-spoiler review true to life it's not always going to work like that, especially when you get a legal team involved. That's when people feel like they're being attacked. And so that's what it became for a while. And, I mean, really, there's not a lot to spoil in this movie. I mean, really, I, the, what I've been saying is most of the movie, um, at the end of the day, they find a way to move on peacefully. You get a glimpse of them toward the end of the movie where it's like, a year after uh, Nicole's with somebody else living in LA uh, Charlie's there they're all friends they're all being cool and it was a nice touch because at the end of the movie um, Charlie's taking his son to the car and Nicole says hold on and then she ties Charlie's shoe and it's, it's one of those little things that like you separate from somebody, but you still know them so well, and you still have parts of each other that you take with you. And um, I thought it was a very nice little added touch at the end there. It was like, you know what? We can do this, and we can do it, and be friends. And just because we split up doesn't mean we have to hate each other. And I thought that was a, a very good message toward the end of the movie there. Because I've always tried to be like that in my relationships and anybody that I've broken up with. Uh, I'm still very close friends with one of my exes. Um, some people would think we're still together, to be honest. Um, you know, so I, I love that about this movie, that it has a lot of heart to it. Um, sometimes things just aren't meant to be, and that's just the way it is. And I, you know, I couldn't say it any better than that right there. I mean... It was, like I said, very simplistic in its approach. Um, but the writing was spectacular. It really was. Some of the lines delivered were amazing. The emotion evoked was amazing. 
Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver uh, are both nominated for Oscars with this. And I think deservedly so. I think Noah Baumbach did an amazing job with this. So that's where I'm at. I gave it a 9 out of 10 yesterday. And I think considering the emotions that it brought out in me, and I'm still kind of, ha I have those emotions two days later, I really feel like this movie was more than just that. I think I'm going to give it a full 10 out of 10. Uh, I really loved it. I really did. Uh, and it kind of caught me by surprise because not necessarily my genre to go to for a movie, but just incredibly well done. So ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm at. That is my spoiler review for Marriage Story. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackowitz, Cage Nation. Out.